Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Riding Tales and I'm going to be showing you how to get three stars in a competition. Now I'm going to be focusing on the show jumping competition in this video. Um, I will also do a video on dressage and Skyrider um, in the near future. So if you want those, I will be doing them, don't worry. Um, I have some news which I'm going to talk about at the end of this video. It relates to live streams and also a video that you guys had asked for. So that news will be discussed at the end of this video. Now, let's get back to it. So. How do you get three stars in a show jumping competition? Well, here's what you have to do. To start off with, there's a couple of key things. You want to know that your horse has enough stamina to actually complete the competition. You want to know that your horse's mood is at the correct amount. You also want to be able to have the right accessories. So to start off with here, let's have a look at her accessories. So we're looking at Clem here. I know that Clem has enough stamina to do pretty much every show jumping competition that this game currently has because she's a very high level. Now, how are you going to know whenever you go to do competitions? Well, you don't necessarily always know. Um, there's no real way at the moment currently to guess, but I only know this because obviously her being a fantasy horse, she has a very large stamina bar. Um, but as you progress through the game, if you focus your apples primarily on one horse, you probably should have enough stamina um, to do those competitions. And obviously the rarer your horse type, then the more stamina you get per level up. So, this horse here that I have, okay, a Clem, she is currently wearing some tack items which have very, very high stats. So if you don't know what your stats on your horse is, you want to go back, okay, once you have um, identified what those tack items are. For example, let's say I was like, well, what, you know, face mask has she got on? I could go down here and I go, okay, pink fantasy mask. So you can see that if I put that back on her, okay, we know that she has a pink fantasy mask on. So then what you want to do is you want to go into the crafting here, right? And then you click on the accessories. And then what you'll do is you scroll down to find that particular item. So as I scroll down here, here's the pink fantasy mask. And here's what's important. The item stats, the event bonus right here. You can see that that's a plus 100. Currently in the game, plus 100 is the highest you can have. Now, some of these tack items you might not have, okay? You might not be at a level yet that you have those, but just use the highest started ones that you have. Now, the other thing is, whenever you go into competitions, make sure that you have leg wraps on, that you have a mask on your horse, that you have a bridle on your horse, and you have a saddle on your horse, okay? So that you have as good a chance of having good stats, okay? And having the most stats. Um, so obviously you want to have a complete set. Now, I will say that right now, my horse does not actually have full set on. She's actually wearing some deep blue um, fantasy leg wraps, for example, um, and they are only plus 80. Okay, I actually haven't made these pink fantasy wraps yet, but at least she still has reasonably good stats, and for most of the shoe jumping competitions, this will be sufficient, because um, it's mostly when you get into the sky red and the dressage that it gets a little bit harder and the stats are more important. So once you know that you have the right accessories on your horse, okay, so that's part one of that. The next thing we want to be focused on is the horse care. So right now we can look up at the top here and we can see that my horse is unhappy, okay? So you need to make sure that your horse is happy before it goes into competitions. Now, because we're only gonna do, I think, some of the lower show jumping competitions, I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm going to make some of the items. So here is where we can make um, the shoes, for example. So we're gonna make some extra shoes. Now, I don't think I can make any hay at the moment, so we're not too worried about that, but I'll make one. Okay. Right. Now, one thing I'm just going to mention is the higher um, you go in player level, then the more shoes you need per foot. So that's why I've made a lot of them. Now, we're not going to put down a huge amount of hay here, okay? I could give her a full bed. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to give her some. Sometimes if you're doing the really low or sorry the really long show jumping competitions where there's like a huge amount of fences to jump Then I do advise probably um, doing the whole bed To completion now we've just given her shoes her mood has gone to neutral. Okay So let's wash her next now typically when I go into competitions I always wash the horse and I always give them a full set of shoes because that's enough to get them happy Okay, it's only when I'm going into the competitions They're gonna last a really long time that I then also completely um, finish the bed. So you can see she's happy now. 
Now, even if I was to finish her bar, she wouldn't go any happier than that, but she would stay happier for longer. And that's why it's important when you do those really long competitions. So now I've got her mood up, we have good stats on her, and I already know that her stamina is sufficient. And as I've said in the past, the reason I said that um, the fantasy horses gain more stamina per level up, as you can see down here, stamina gain is 10. Um, if I look at one of my other horses, let's look at Blue Rose, okay? So if we look at Blue Rose, Blue Rose is just an epic rarity horse. She only gets 10, or sorry, 8 stamina per game. So if I level her up, she's only going to get an extra 8, okay? If we look at Daisy, for example, okay, we look at her stats, she's only a rare. She only gets six, 6 stamina gain per level up. And then if we look at Violet, for example, she's a common. So she only gets 2 stamina gain per level up. That's why when you get to the point that you can get one of the rare horses, do that and then put your apples into that horse and keep repeating that until you get to the fantasy horses. Because you'll get more stamina per level up, which means your apples are better used. And this is why this fantasy horse is so important, because when you get to that point, that's why you want to get a fantasy horse. Obviously, you don't need to worry about it before level 25, but that's just something to bear in mind. Right, so now that um, we have all of that, let's go ahead and take her into the competition. Now, obviously, you always need to make sure that you have enough gold to enter into a competition. So we're going to go into the Horse Show Academy here, and I'm going to look for a competition that I haven't yet done. Okay, so here's two that I haven't done, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, here we'll see how many fences we've got to jump. We've got 28 fences to jump. So whenever it comes to the actual jumping of fences, this is the next part that's quite important in the show jumping, is to make sure that you get over that wee line, okay? Because if you don't give the horse sufficient um, stamina to jump over the fences, then you're going to end up in the situation where you fail the fence. And if you fail the fence, you won't get three stars, okay? Now, if you're just looking to get through and just get one star, that's absolutely fine. You can sometimes hit a few fences and just scrape through, essentially. Um, and I did that in the past when my horse didn't have enough stamina to actually get three stars in an event. Now that I know that my horse can do that, and I'm going back and I'm doing competitions for the second time, or maybe the third time, um, I'm not worried about how much stamina I use because I know my horse has enough. But if you only want to just get through and just get that one stamina star, or sorry, one star in the competition, then you don't need to worry about that. And you need to basically conserve. And sometimes I intentionally went through fences and didn't jump them because I knew otherwise I'd run out of energy. Because obviously if you run out of energy during a competition, you fail the competition completely, which isn't particularly fun. So we're going to go ahead here and we're going to continue to jump all of these fences. I'm going to ensure that every single time that I fill this bar at the side here, that I go over that yellow line. Okay, so we've managed to jump all of these fences successfully. Now here's the last one. So once we pass over this, we should then get our rating out of one to three stars. And we're expecting three stars. Okay, so let's have a look at our results. Okay, so we got three stars. Now, as you jump each fence in the show jumping, you get a score for each fence. So obviously, if you fail one of the fences, you don't get those points. That's the first thing. Okay. Now we managed to jump all of the fences successfully, so therefore we do get those points, and um, that was what the number is at the top. Okay. Now the next thing, as I mentioned earlier, is the mood of the horse. You want the horse to be happy to get the 1.5 uh, mood bonus. Okay. Because Clem was happy when we took her in to do the competitions, um, we have that 1.5. So then we have the appearance. This is when I was saying about the stats being so important. So if you don't know what your stats are in the horse that you currently have, this is another way that at the end of the competition you can actually see what your face mask has in stats, what your saddle has in stats, your leg wraps, and then finally your bridle. So we can see that Clam has 2 plus 100s, and then she's 2 plus 80s. And then finally at the end, we'll get our prize. 
So the more stars you get in a competition, the more um, apples you get. So this is essentially how to get three stars in the show jumping competitions. As I said, I will also do this for the dressage and the skyrider tests in future videos. So I hope all of that information was helpful. I hope this helps you get three stars in your own show jumping competitions. And um, it's a little bit of trial and error as well, because as I was progressing through the game, I had to learn by doing it and failing at it and so forth. And then some of you guys shared tips and things like that too. Um, now, obviously, I wasn't being extremely careful when I was jumping the fences. I was making sure that I was going to definitely be over that yellow line um, whenever I was jumping them, because I know that this horse has enough stamina to do that competition very easily. If you're on a horse that you don't think, you need to be a little bit more careful, but making sure you still get over that line with the amount of stamina that you use. Now, um, here's the thing, okay? Um, this is the news I wanted to tell you, and it's not really good news, unfortunately. Um, so a lot of you guys had asked that I would do a video on showing how I play um, horse riding tails on my PC. And as I've mentioned, I used a program called Bluestacks to do that for a really long time. Um, and this was made possible because horse riding tails used to have a um, way that you could connect your horse riding tails account to Facebook. Okay, and that acted as a backup for your game. So yesterday, um, I started to record that video. And um, I spent three hours trying to fix this. So basically what happened was I uninstalled my Bluestacks to then reinstall it and show you guys how to do it. That's what I started to record. And once I reinstalled my Bluestacks and I reinstalled Horse Riding Tales and I went to do what I did maybe about six months ago or more um, to put the game onto the PC, the option wasn't there. Um, I couldn't add my game. So I can't have Horse Riding Tales on the computer anymore and I put up an Instagram story and a couple of you guys um, messaged me and I really appreciated that because that helped um, identify what the issue was. Um, essentially they have removed the ability to use Facebook as a backup. What this means is um, there's no current way for me to transfer my game to another device, okay? So, what does that mean, you know, to you guys? It means I can't make the video that I wanted to make, and it also means I can't make live streams anymore. And I'm really, really gutted. Um, I spent like three hours trying to fix this yesterday to absolutely no avail. And um, this, the reason apparently that they've done this is because apparently there was a problem um, with the Facebook um, connection to the game, okay? So essentially now I, I can't put this back on my computer. I can't play Horse Riding Tales on my computer anymore. Now what I can do is I can play a brand new game, but I can't get my current game, my level 40 Violet Rain with Clem and everything, I can't put that on the computer anymore. Now, I don't know when they're going to fix this, um, I have no idea, but I will promise you this, that when they fix this, I will do that video, okay, and I also will do live streams again, but now, right now, my game is only on my phone, and I can't live stream with my phone, and I can only record a certain amount on my phone, because my phone has, like, very little space, um, buying a new phone wouldn't make any difference, because I wouldn't be able to move my game, um, that I'm aware of. Now, if any of you hear any updates or know if they're going to bring this back at some point, feel free to share a link to where they've posted that because I will be contacting them because um, this is like kind of gutting because I can't I can't um, live stream this game anymore. Um, that was a big way that I got to actually answer a lot of your questions and things like that um, and hang out with you guys and stuff. So I can't do anything about it. As unfortunate as that is, um, there's nothing that I can do there, and I'm. Uh, I got so stressed about it yesterday. Whenever I figured that I had, um, essentially, deleted my game off a computer and I had no way to get it back. Now, obviously, as I said, I still have my actual um, game on my phone, so I haven't lost my account, which I'm very thankful for right now. Let's hope that nothing happens to my phone, as I can say. Um, but yeah, I am super gutted. And I am, um, like, there's nothing I can do. I'm really sorry, guys. There's just nothing I can do. I tried everything yesterday um, to fix this. So, unfortunately, there is literally 
no way at this moment in time to live stream this game and now I can't do a video to show you guys how to play on the PC and I can't um, transfer my own game back onto the computer either. Um, because I know that a lot of you guys wanted to be able to play the game on your device, like your phone and the PC. Now, you can still create a new game and play it on BlueStacks, for example. It's a new account, but that's not what I wanted to show you guys how to do, because um, for me, I think it's much easier to have my game in two places, you know, and I guess that is what I think a lot of you guys wanted as well. Um, so there is a video that um, I would say if you still want to know how to just put Wars Running Tales on a PC, okay, and not on a phone device and you want a new game, um, there is a video that I did which I'll link at the top of the screen right now, which was moving my Horsehaven game onto a device and I was using another program called Nox, which is like Bluestacks. The process is very much the same, okay, it's just a different game, um, but the way you do it is very, very similar. But right now, we don't have that option with Horse Riding Tales, and I'm sorry. So that's enough of me rambling, um, but I hope the rest of this tutorial was useful and helpful for you guys. I hope you saw the lovely day, scrubs, and bye!